Hey everybody, good afternoon. It is Friday, wrapping up a week. Uh, bell just rings 3 o'clock central on the 8th, and so I'm wrapping up the week here, getting ready for next week. All right, next week we have um, got enough enough news uh, on the uh, on the calendar to uh, be look at go forex factory look at the the you know at the news that's coming up also know that we've got an uh, expiration at the end of next week so uh, typically historically we like to hold a bid into at least Wednesday of an expiration week where uh, we can start to maybe not so much uh, support the bid and doesn't mean it necessarily turns or flips bearish necessarily, but uh, through Wednesday in uh, expiration week, so uh, you'll find that the tendency is to hold a bid, all right, uh, i.e. support. Okay, so look with me here. Imagine we got the little box of trade here. Starts right there about May the 6th through June the 9th, okay, and then we go into this box down here where we've been for a couple weeks that starts on June the 13th through uh, today. All right, you got a box that's there that's the box down here at the bottom is 36.50 by 39, I don't know, whatever you want to call that, 3,900 or so. And the one up here is like 40, uh, 40, call it 180, 40, yeah, 4180 by 3,900. Yeah. All right. And that's going to be important in just a sec. So last couple weeks, here's what we've done. Uh, we traded 3750 uh, by 950, 200 points. Then this week we and then and then it went 3950 by 3750, 200 points. Then it went 3750 by 3900 this week. I mean maybe 3910, whatever. But basically 3900. It's like call that 170 something. You know in range okay then we look at the spx through next week we got about plus or minus 100 for next week plus or minus 100 it's been plus or minus 100 we've been exceeding that a little bit but that's what's priced in for next week um and so what is 100 higher and what's 100 lower and and then I'll take you a little bit higher uh, for the outlier and a little bit lower for the outlier. It's actually really pretty simple. Uh, here is a volume uh, chart to display. Notice the date range up here, if you can see. Let me make sure you can see. See the date range right, right there? You can see I'm doing the May 6 through 6 9. See the point of control here? About 41, 10, all the way into a bunch of overlap point of controls, daily point of controls right there at like 41.20. Okay. That's the point of control uh, for that date range that I showed you on the top. That that range of trade on the top. All right. That's the biggest uh, acceptance. Notice there's a big one here too at 40.20. And what is that? Remember, you guys, you got to remember the prices. I mean, just kind of remember what's what, you know? 4020, what is that? That's that CPI print. Remember the CPI, the naked CPI print from that Friday morning uh, pre market that broke to, you know, down to 39, uh, 60 that then traded and ended that Friday at 3900. Okay. So there, that's your, that's your upper. T1 for next week, 4020, 100 higher. And then here's your outlier up here. The, and the reason for it is it's a little extended, but, you know, but it's, uh, I mean, it's a little extended, but but so has the market been outside of its, uh, what's priced into the, you know, options chain. So T2 up here, 41, we'll just call it 10, could be 20, we'll call it 10, 4110. 4020, 4110, that's on the top. All right, now let me get that out of the way and bring in the other one that I just uh, made. Yeah, okay.
okay, here's the here's the here's the lower the lower distribution. Notice the date range right there, six thirteen by seven eight. Right, that's the date range that I was pointing to down here, where I said six thirteen by seven eight. Right, we're we're profiling that block of trade that we're still in right now. We're at the upper edge of it, but we're still in that block. What is the most traded price for all of that uh, whole block of trade? 37.75. I mean, that price, I'm telling you, you're going to, you know, I know you're tired of hearing me say that price, but, but that's what it is. Okay. And that's a, that's, you know, that's a, that's about a hundred. Uh, that's about a hundred lower, right? 37.75. That's your bearish target for next week. And as an outlier, so we have one. It's a little extended. So is the 4110 on the top. That's a little extended, but hey, what if things get carried away? I doubt it, but you know, not until after Wednesday is when things could get carried away. But after Wednesday, things could get carried away next week. And then uh, here's the outlier right there. That two days worth of balance at the bottom. Remember that Thursday, Friday down here? We had a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday sideways trade. Thursday, Friday, island bottom. Then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday again the next week. Balance up here. And it's the balance of all of that whole date range that I'm showing you, 613 by 78 in, what is that, about 200 and something points of range or whatever. Well, there is another HVN, and it's a naked uh, multi-day point of control down here at 3675 because we haven't, we haven't been allowed back down below the high of those two days, right? 37.11, we haven't been allowed back below that. When we get back below 37.11, it's going to be trying to target 36.75. That's going to be the first thing you're going to target once you see any trade below 37.11, it's going to be 36.75. But we don't have to worry about that right now. We're up at 3,900 right now. We got we got to worry about next week. We got to worry about the fact that the last couple of weeks have been, yeah, 170 to... Uh, on the outside, sort of a stretch, but almost 200 points in range. I mean, that's a stretch, but, you know, one can stretch. And uh, and the bearish target is going to be 37.75 with an outlier 36.75. The bullish target is going to be 40.20 on that naked newsprint. And uh, and the 41.10s on the top because we just bat we just profiled that entire block of trade up there on that upper distribution, right? So we just did that. Um, <clears throat> that that that's it. I mean, I can remind you, I guess, that there's one little speed bump uh, here, uh, you know, up there along the way. That price is 39.85. That's a little that you know you go ahead and mark it on the chart, I guess, if you want as a reminder. It's a it's a gap mid that still does exist at 39.85. I don't think it's a big deal, but you know, I mean, when it, you know, when the first the first test of that price is is going to be a little testy, but um, look, that's it. That's that's what we got. So um, this is to get you thinking towards next week. Uh, but I'm back on Monday to do the post Monday analysis to kind of uh, give follow up thought to this uh, to further prepare for the you know kind of more precise nature of what we're looking at next week day by day, uh, looking at the calendar and what exactly you know we're going to prepare for on each day and that kind of thing. So I'll see you on Monday and we'll get ready for uh, um, a good week uh, next week. Okay, take care. Good trading. Without simpler trading, I could not have financial independence. This is one of the best investments that I ever made in my life. It's helping me find consistency. It's one of the things that won me.